When you asked me to describe Leap in one word, relationship came to my mind almost immediately because to me that is the heart and the soul and, and the really the most special thing about Leap. It's really the, the people that you meet and the people that help you um, that will really do anything to make you succeed. And you know, to this day, three years later, these are still some of my, my favorite people <laughs> that I can connect with. I think Leap's created tremendous impact in the pet care industry. Not only have we invested in solutions that are really creating better pet health and pet care access around the world, but we've also invested in over 15 countries and they've gone on to raise over 200 million in follow-on capital. I'm incredibly proud of the fact that we've invested in more than 40 companies at this point and not a single one of them has gone out of business. We've had a couple exits already, but none of them has gone out of business. The biggest thing, if I had to say what stands out in LEAP, is the connection between the founders, the camaraderie that comes of it. It's less about us and we're more of someone to help make connections and uh, get them to talk to one another and realize how they can help one another. Coming together and opening up the doors to a client or opening up the doors to a testing concept or opening the doors to a developer, those networks are actually some of the more phenomenal things that come out of it. What I can say about the Leap Accelerator program is that there's very, very deep, rich industry expertise, uh, really rich networking opportunities, um, and a ton of support that you simply won't get in other accelerator programs. When we first started in this space, the one thing that we really wanted was to be able to have entrepreneurs and VC and, and money identify pet care as a, as a legitimate investment. There was very little of that initially. Now I see VCs are super interested in this industry. What fascinates me about pet care is the pace of innovation and the scale of innovation only continues to grow. Um, there were solutions that we dreamt about 10 years ago that now exist, but now there are new problems that we face. Challenges like sustainability, challenges like finding the right pet for the right family, challenges like affordability of veterinary services. And this is an open call for the next five plus years of LEAP. As of now, we see more interest in the uh, pet nutrition space, which is great and which is growing segments. We also need a more um, innovator as well as investor coming into the space like a veterinary health, um, new innovations in diagnostics, as well as a pet professional or pet parents, a platform or marketplace solutions. It's been five years since LEAP, which is incredible. And if you look at some of the businesses that have come out of the LEAP program, Shameless, Smalls, Wild Earth, uh, Dog Drop, there's just been some incredible businesses. Native Pet is incredibly honored to be part of one of the first five cohorts. It's amazing to see the momentum the category continue to has, and LEAP is a, an absolutely incredible catalyst for for the whole category and it's an honor to be part of it. Two of the primary focuses for us are increasing accessibility and diversity among our ecosystem and pet care. Once you're a LEAP company, you're a LEAP company for life. We're here to support you for the long journey, including creating introductions to follow-on capital resources, 
continuing to provide those resources of lending pet care industry knowledge, whether that be with specific expertise, with specific mentors or people, or whether that's with, you know, sort of sharing information that we have where we can. I think it's a really important part of helping pet care startups grow. To our founders that are part of our ecosystem and to new founders in the pet care space, our door is always open. Reach out to us if there's ways in which we can help you, support you in the work that you're doing. It's only started, right? Five years in, uh, you know, seven cohorts. Excited to see how technology changes and what new founders stand up. Happy five years to sleep.